Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Tasmania Trunet, and welcome to Sheltered. This is a very early access game. Uh, this literally just got kickstarted. I backed this uh, a few months ago, um, and I think I did that after someone basically said to me, "So, like, imagine if Fallout and Gods will be watching, and FTL like had a baby." And and I think I, I I think I started throwing money at it at that point. Then then things go hazy for a bit, and then several months passed, and then this came out. Um, so yes, I've got kind of an early access. Uh, I've got early access to this because I backed it uh, on Kickstarter. I don't think you can buy this on Steam yet, though. I think if you can still donate to it on Kickstarter to get access to the early access, I think. Uh, but yes, it is basically a survivally strategy, mostly real time grim thing. I've not played it before. I've like I'm I'm aware of some of the features because I saw some of the development features while they were putting it together, but I've never played it. Um, so this is going to go wrong and everyone's going to die because it's a rogue like that I don't understand any of the mechanics of, and that means death. Anyway, let's play sheltered. So I need to uh, yeah, so I need to choose a family. That's what I'm building. So I'm going to build. I'm going to build our family. I'm going to build M A T N H Q. That's what I'm going to do. So John. John is obviously the king. All hail John. John is. Ooh, John is. John is multiple things. Uh, John can be any number of things. I think John will be male. I think I'll actually uh, just for once. Uh, just for once, I will be male. Uh, John is. John is very tanned. Uh, I don't think you've got any choice. Oh no, you do have choice over skin color. Excellent. Uh, so I am. Um... Not quite. Oh, oh, you go full circle. You go full circle. I'm not quite that white, but um, I am pretty damn pale, I will say. Probably about... That seems about fair. Now, I have to wear a hoodie by the looks of it, so that's fine. Uh, what would I like? Is there a nice purple one in there? That's... I think that's the closest to purple we've got, unfortunately. Yes, we're just going to have to wear the purple hoodie. And we're just wearing shorts as well. Uh, let's just wear some nice dark shorts. Uh, yeah, let's assume those are jean shorts. Short, short, cross between shorts and jeans. Hair colour, let's go for that. Yeah, you see, that looks just like me, pretty much. Head type? That's not head, that's just a haircut. And sure, let's say I'm having a bad hair day. Sure, why not? And oh, I do get to choose what I'm wearing. Excellent news. Excellent news. <laughs> <laughs> Just ran in. Had a small run in with a bear on the way to the fallout shelter. It's fine. And a trooped man's man. I like that. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. I have the skinniest legs in the world. I'm gonna be honest. I am think I am looking pretty damn snazzy there. Very happy with that. Now traits. Traits that I've got. Um. So I can be. I can be any number of these traits. How many of these are there? There's. Uh, not that many. Small eater, courageous, deep sleeper. Are these good things or bad things? I feel like these are probably good things. I don't think any of them are bad. Optimistic, resourceful, uh, courageous, definitely not. Deep sleeper, proactive, hands on. Uh, I'm going to say I'm optimistic and then I can go through various different types of stats. So it's like um, rather than choosing like special skills, you get to kind of choose between... Good upbringing, good high intelligence, high intelligence, charisma, reception, but low dexterity or strength. Excellent. Well educated, high intelligence. I, can I hover over to know what any of these things do? No, no, I can't. I just have to sort of guess what these things do. Um, okay. Uh, athletic dexterity. Oh, I guess that's because I know that this is a choice between those. You spend time in the uh, in the shelter and time out exploring. So I'm guessing dexterity helps you out when you're exploring. I would suppose. Troubled, extremely high strength, but nothing else. Street smart, high perception, intelligence, charisma, logical. Logical seems like a good balance of uh, yeah, intelligence, charisma, and perception. I'm going to say I'm optimistic and logical. Boom. Right. Claire. No. Claire. Right. That seems like a pretty close facsimile for Claire. I think that's good enough. Traits. Uh, Claire is more hands-on than me. She's good at like um, DIY and stuff. I'm going to give her a well-rounded, because I'm not sure what all these things do, so I think a well-rounded character is probably a good idea. And we've got to have children with us, so I don't really care so much. So, alright. I'm just randomising some children until I find one I like the look of. Who do I like the look of? Yeah, sure, Ruth, but I don't like the name. So instead, she's going to be called Orange, uh, which is a French name. It means orange. Um, so, yeah, she can have that. And she can be... <laughs> Bullet. Oh, do children have different? 
Oh, children have different uh, things. That's quite cute. I don't know if those are exactly the same ones, but uh, just... No, 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 I don't remember seeing one that was like that. I think uh, children have different stat presets. That's kind of cool. Oh, they have lower stats as well. I see. Okay, yeah, let's have a well-spoken, charismatic child who also happens to be... Hygienic. Yes, let's have a hygienic child. A hygienic, well-spoken child. Sensible. That's just perfect already. This child looks like a punk. And this is child two. I don't think he's optimistic. I think he is... Child two can be resourceful, but also... Yeah, he can be a bit rough and tumble, because we're just probably going to send him out into the wilderness. Done. And we choose a pet. Uh, I think we, we used to be able to... Uh, there was talk of being able to choose between a cat and a dog, but it looks like that's not happening at the moment. Um, so the family name is the Nerd Family. They are many a true nerd between them. There's me, Claire, Orange, and other one. And the dog's name is going to be, uh, Tabby, I guess. Yes, Tabby the dog. Perfect. We're gonna have a dog called Tabby, because I don't think we can... Oh, we can! We can have a cat! Can we choose a different type of cat? No, the cat is... The cat is inaccurately ginger. All right, good. Well, we can have a cat as part of the nerd family. I imagine, <laughs> in terms of like, there's, when there's limited food and water available, I feel like this creature is going to take up much less, you know, uh, resources than this one. Right, let, let's do this. Tip, take a gas mask when exploring the wasteland. Probably a good tip right there. Okay, so, 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 let's just pause the game for a second. I can't move while pausing. Uh, okay, never mind. So, you'll notice time is ticking away. What we've got is we have a surface. A surface where there are things, like a camper van that's currently in very bad shape that we'll need to fix up if we want to use that eventually. Uh, there is a water filter which needs to be kept fixed because that is filtering into our water butt. There is, uh, oh, that doesn't do anything. Um, well, that's our radar dish, obviously, for making our radio work. And that is our oxygen filter. We have uh, doors here that we open by clicking. Make sure you've only got one open time or radiation will seep in. This is what keeps you safe. So, here's what the situation is. We Right now, we've got basically nothing. We've got some, some okayish foods. We've got uh, some little bits of storage. Yep. Uh, so we've just got, you know, some fuel, a bit of duct tape, a bit of wood, metal, some nails. We've basically got some basic supplies that we managed to scavenge. We've got some useful stuff, like some advanced stuff, like switches and transistors, etc. But basically, we've got a bunch of raw materials to start off with and a little bit spare storage space. We've also got some uh, food, just like 10 rations of food. We've got, let me just turn on the stats as well. We've got a bit of medicine, just some anti-rads. We've got some water and we've got our generator. But the most important thing down here is, and let me just remind myself who the, uh, who the dexterous person is, because I'm going to guess that is the, uh, what do the stats even do? I don't know what the stats do, but yeah, you're the all-rounder. Um, Claire, nip down to the workbench. So... Claire, craft an item. So crafting is a ludicrously important part of this game. Crafting is how you make things. Because right now you'll notice we're missing a few things, like such as beds. So sleeping bags is an important thing because people need sleep. You notice on the stats there that people need, uh, they've got thirst that needs to be dealt with. They've got hunger that needs to be dealt with. They've got tiredness, so you need to sleep. Toilet, so you need to actually have a toilet or at the bare least a bucket toilet. Uh, you're going to need uh, yeah, a shower to deal with dirtiness as that works up. Stress as things get more stressful and trauma. You can expand, but um, if you want to build a new room, then you're going to need cement to do it, and we don't have any cement because you need sand and limestone. So we need to go out into the world to find some sand and limestone. So some probably a good place to start would be we need a sleeping bag. So we need a sleeping bag, and we need to put it somewhere. Uh, let's put it right here. So Claire's going to start getting on with that. Uh, meanwhile, Orange, you can just get on with making sure that the generator's in good shape. That probably seems like a sensible thing. Uh, yes, fix the generator. John, meanwhile, is going to be a big damn hero, and he's going to go outside to show how that works. So you need to put on a radiation suit, and while he's doing that, also, a uh, journal gets filled up at the end of each day. So our family is John, Claire, Orange, Child 2, and our pet's dog... T Game! Wait, hang on. Wait, hang on! Do it. Where's the... I said cat! Alright, never mind. So, you just send him over here and then just tell him he's going to go up and... Uh, let's improve the efficiency of the, uh, the water filter. So he goes that way, close the door, open the door, 
close the door. This shelter is secure as long as both, as long well, as long as one door is secure, you're safe. As far as I know, who knows? Maybe someone's going to kind of go out and have a a problem sooner or later. So next, we probably need a few other little basic bits of pieces. Um, so child two, you can also do some crafting. So you probably should craft a bucket toilet. Uh, and we're going to put the bucket toilet, can we put it right at the back of the shelter? Can we not? Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, ah, here we are, right next to the food and the medical supplies. No, no, but I'd rather have it there than... Uh, yeah, limited floor space. This is why you need to expand the place so sooner or later. Because, yeah, that seems like a place where there's not going to be much else. So, John has gone upstairs and he's now increasing the efficiency of this thing. And by doing things, obviously, he'll gain stats as well and slowly get better. Uh, characters like Sims need to basically be told to do even the most basic things. Uh, before, yes, they'll do it on their own. But the most important thing is, while we're still fairly early on, looks like we have the parts to upgrade a system. Do we now? Which system can we upgrade? And can you get on with that in that case? Uh, you, can you upgrade this? What do we have to upgrade? We've got some metal and some pipes to increase the durability, decreasing the speed at which it generates breaks. Generators producing electricity, of course. Uh, we don't have the valves we needed to increase the capacity of the generator. And we can't, yeah, we can't improve the rate at which fuel is burning. We could improve that if we wanted to. Most things can be improved in some capacity or other. So probably a really important one is I can upgrade the actual bench uh, itself. Because uh, benches need to be upgraded to produce more advanced things. Uh, John's just cracking on with that. And obviously he's got a bit tired by virtue of going and doing this. So he now gets to return, and I think as a result, he has well earned a little rest. So I'm going to tell him to sleep. And that is his next task. And I can cancel at any point by clicking on it or pressing C. So let's just open the door to let him through. Yep. And up it comes. And no, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Cancel that. Never mind, he's gone to sleep. Uh, he, he probably needs to sleep. I was about to say, maybe take the rad suit off first, but uh, never mind, you don't have to. Right, um, so what we need to do in order to get more stuff is we need to head out into the world and trade or fight for it. While we've got plenty of water, and we have a fair whack of water at the moment, let's see if anyone needs anything, you take a drink and you eat some food. Okay, so we're going to take a drink and eat some food. Other than that, we're basically okay, aren't we? Uh, yes, you don't really have anything that you desperately need. You could go to the bathroom before we go. Just uh, Child 2, just keep keep looking the other way, Child 2. Keep looking the other way, it's fine. I told them I wanted a flat damn thing. Actually, oh, food bowl. Food bowl, hang on. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, you, fill up the filled food bowl. I want the dog to have some food. There we go. Now the dog will be happy. Uh, the dog mysteriously moves around through air vents, which is uh, kind of surreal. He just kind of can move around in the air vents, which I guess he has to because he can't use the ladder. So with everyone in good shape and the uh, now the water thing ready to catch any water that comes in, and I think these guys feeling pretty darn good, yeah, everyone feels all right, then I think it's time to send us off on our first expedition, which is very important. So the map, you can set up an expedition. So Claire is going on the expedition, yes, and Child 2, who no one cares about, is going with her. Because if he dies, no, nah, whatever. So, after that we go to the map. Um, it's a fairly big map, and there's nothing to actually stop you doing literally all of it if you've got enough water. Because obviously when someone goes off, you need to send them with water supplies. Uh, so they actually have, uh, they can actually kind of survive out in the wilderness. So, I'm going to send them to these two locations that are nearby, a church and a small house. And that's going to require seven of the 14 water I've got to uh, go with them. So I kind of hope it rains soon. Uh, yes, otherwise we could be in trouble. So yes, they're going with them. Now, we need to equip them. So uh, the way we do that is uh, green counts as a weapon slot. So I'm going to give uh, Claire a, a lead pipe uh, to act as a weapon. And blue is armour. I could give them armour if I have any, but I don't. Instead, I just have to give them gas masks so they don't get radiation poisoning while they're out there. Yeah, mysteriously, um, you need to use uh, the, um, the hazmat suit when you're just locally. But if you go further, a uh, gas mask seems to work just fine. Which is kind of odd, but it does seem to work. And I'm going to give exactly the same thing to Child 2. No, no, Child 2, you've messed... Child 2, you've messed it up. Right, there we are. Equip. God, I hate Child 2 sometimes. 
uh, equip, and then we also have an inventory. Uh, the reason you want inventory is because you might run into a trader. If you run into a trader, then you're going to need to trade, obviously. So you're going to actually have, want to have something of value to trade against them. So I'm going to take stuff that stacks pretty easily, but still leave myself enough space that if I find something and it's not a trader, I can just uh, bring it back nice and easily. So yeah, I'm going to take some metal and some springs and some duct tape and some wood. And what else should I send along? Uh, I'll send some switches and some buckets. Yeah. So I think you can take a maximum... Actually, no, I'll, leave, I'll leave the buckets so it seems pointless. I think you can take a maximum of eight. I think if I just kind of... Yeah, won't let me scroll there. So I can not I can only take eight, but once you're actually out there, the inventory limit is 12. Uh, so you can bring a bit of stuff back. So yes, let's send uh, let's send uh, Claire and Child to off. That seems fine. So yes, they are going off into the wasteland. Open the door. Out you go. Child two going first. Bit moody. Door open. Door closed. Beautiful. And off they go. Uh, meanwhile, what is going on down here? She's just finishing up with that. How's the generator? Generator's looking really good. But we'll slowly start using up some fuel. When people out on expeditions, uh, pay attention to the radio. That's how they get in contact with you. Uh, you'll get a little warning saying radio transmission. But if you don't answer them, eventually it's all going to go a little bit wrong. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think they just kind of, if they, you ignore them, they just move on and then eventually come home having not done anything. Ah, so we've got our first little uh, transmission here. So accept the transmission. So, child two here. We've stumbled across a church. Yes, have a look inside the church. So they're going to have a look inside and hopefully they'll find either people, in which case we might actually have to go skip out to them to see how they're getting on, or we actually find, uh, they'll just find some stuff. Ah, it's raining! Beautiful! So now what you'll notice is the water butt is rapidly filling up. So we've got loads of water now. Hello, radio transmission. There's somebody in the church. It looks like they want to talk. What should we do? Get involved. Get involved. So now we skip out and we see what's going on at the church. And there isn't... A shirtless man in a green hula hoop at the church. We've both got lead pipes. Oh dear, LB and RB change character. Normally changing characters with Q and E, but I don't know what the shortcut is now. Uh, but Claire's a good all-rounder. Yeah, so William, who's... Is he just holding a rock? I've got two people with lead pipes. I feel like if it came to it, I could probably take him. Can I help you with something? Says Claire very conveniently. Do you have a good place to say? It's hard to find decent roof nowadays. I'm willing to work for a nice place to say. What do you say? What's he like? He's not very good. And I've kind of... I've got four people and only a finite amount of water. Like, no. Sorry. You're not very good. You can't come. I don't think we're going to be able to let you in. Maybe you want to sort of feed a bit more. We'll take on more people. You probably stocked to the ceiling with food and water holding it all to yourselves. I know your game. You're sick. Is he about to attack? Uh, oh no, no, recruitment is resolved. I think we've both gained a bit of something. Is he about to attack us? No, he's not. Uh, incoming radio transmission. So, uh, looks like the church has some stuff. Yes, let's examine the items. Oh good, we get stuff anyway. Perfect. So, now there's items in the church. So, ah, food. <laughs> when that guy said, hey, I bet you're just storing all that stuff to yourself. Yeah, that was pretty much the plan, yes. Uh, leave that. We've got some of that. Uh, fuse and sand. Sand is one of the parts we need to cement and we need to make the shelter bigger because we run, run out of floor space pretty damn quickly. Um, actually, no, I may as well take, I may as well fill it up, uh, because I, yeah, I may as well just fill it up because I can just leave some stuff later if I need to. Yep, confirm. Move on. There might be nothing at the next house. Uh, so how is Orange doing? Oh, Orange is getting on with it. She's nearly finished upgrading the She's nearly finished upgrading that while, you know, John just sleeps. Uh, except transmission. A small house might have some good loot. Yes, look inside. And they'll probably uh, get back to me with some requests soon. So the water butt is nearly full. And in a minute, John will be back up and about. Yes. And we have parts to upgrade the system, but let's accept the transmission. Uh, we found someone in this small house. Stop and talk. Yes, let's approach the strange... Uh, to say strangers. Uh, I prefer when, uh, when I outnumber them two to one, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say, they're completely invisible. Hey, is that your blood? God damn it, child two. You always say the stupidest things. Uh, let us... Oh, we get a choice. We get choices. Uh, we can trade, we can recruit, we can flee, or we can bully. She's got a baseball bat and we've got two lead pipes. But let's see if she's willing to trade. 
Uh, the larder stocked, so other supplies will do for now. Lucky you. Okay, what do you have? You've got antibiotics. That could be useful. Uh, a light bulb. You have very little stuff, don't you? Um, what am I willing to get? It's just a man hanging in the background there. Someone hung themselves. Excellent news. Uh, yeah, what's a light bulb worth? Light bulb's worth two things. What's antibiotics? Antibiotics are worth quite a bit, but that kind of makes sense. Uh, I don't know what the value of everything is. Uh, strings, metal, wood, duct tape, water. No, I can't be bothered. You keep your antibiotics, but I will take that light bulb off you very happily. Yes, why not? Uh, can't say that was the worst trade I've ever agreed to, but it's pretty close. Stay lean, says Jessica. And child 2 charisma has gone through the roof. Excellent news. Boom. Okay, ward storage is at max capacity. Now what this means is we need to think about one of the other things we need. So one, uh, child 2, you can... Uh, sorry, child 2? You're not child 2, I love you, you're orange. You can sleep. Uh, John, meanwhile, um, John, meanwhile, needs to deal with one other thing. Which is John needs to build... Uh, another item which is very important. Yes, I know how to make things. Uh, now that we've got that, we can do uh, yeah, we can do level two stuff. So now we can make things like uh, satchels, so I can carry more stuff when I'm out there. But I obviously don't have the equipment for some of this. Uh, proper bed. Ooh, okay. Uh, that might be useful given time as well. But I don't have the. Actually, I probably will when the spring has come home again. Because when something's out on an expedition, I don't have it here, so I can't use it. But I might make a proper bed in a minute. Uh, but for the moment, what I need to do is I need to make a shower. Don't have enough wood for a shower. Great. Uh, yes, this shower takes a lot of water and reduces dirtiness. I won't create a shower just yet then because I want to wait until uh, they get back with the other equipment. So I feel like we're okay for the minute. Uh, what are your needs? You could do with a drink of water. Yeah, have some water. The water butt is at maximum. We might as well use it up as quickly as possible. Yep, lovely. Excellent. Now, while you're here, would you like to upgrade this? Can we? Do we have anything to upgrade? No, I can't upgrade that. Uh, anything else? Can that be... Do you want to use the toilet? No. Actually, yeah, why not? Well, well <laughs> just don't take... I, I will at some point bother to take the hazmat suit off, I promise. And if you want to know how your expedition's going, by the way, you can always just do that. You can always just um, check the... Uh... Oh, oh, that sounded like something. Are they home? They're home as well. Excellent. Hello, Claire. Crack open the door. Not for you, though, child two. You have to stay outside. Boom. Okay, fine. You can come in too. But I just want you to know I wasn't keen on the idea. So, the location search with two, so we get some more perception stats. Lovely. And now we can transfer items, so we can move things into the shelter. You might not have room for everything, so obviously, uh, yeah, we might have to dump some stuff, potentially. Uh, duct tape, useful, the springs, the water, the water tank is full, okay, so the water tank's full, so we don't need that. Fuse, uh, bit of sand, we didn't find much else. We can put our food supplies in, that's useful. A light bulb, plastic, and all of that. So the water is just the one thing that we can't do anything with. So, confirm. Boom. Okay, and they get some experience for doing that. And now, as a result, I think, uh, John, you deserve a nice bit of food. You guys probably deserve... Actually, they're surprisingly uh, in good shape. Actually, I guess they've been eating and sleeping and stuff while they've been going along. So, now that we've got all their stuff back, we can probably build a whole bunch of really good things. We can't build tier 3 things because we don't have the workbench. Uh, but we can build a shower, which is pretty good. We could also build a bed. Ooh, an actual bed. la dee da Let's build an actual bed there. You, build an actual bed. And child, child 2... You can craft a shower. Uh, where are we going to fit the shower? Where does the shower go? Uh-oh. We might have a problem with the fact that there's nowhere to put a shower. That could be a problem. Right. Um, never mind. Right. In that case, what else can we craft that's useful? Child 2 can have a drink of water. Sure, why not? Uh, you, you're pretty tired. You can have a sleep. Uh, John can finally take off the damn things. Yes, return the suit. I don't think you really need it at this exact moment in time. Still flipping raining as well. Still flipping raining. Right, and John's back in his lovely casual gear. Okay, John's in really good shape. And how's Child 2? 
Child 2 is pretty good as well. I think Child 2 can come on another expedition with John. John's going out there into the world at this point. Kaboom. Right, yes, yeah, set up an expedition. John's going. Uh, optimistic and cowardice, apparently. It's unfair to me. Child 2, you're coming along as well. Uh, yes, and now we can figure out where we want to go. So obviously we've been on a very small expedition right now. We've got loads of water and it'll pretty much fill itself up again as we go pretty much almost immediately. So we may as well head over in this sort of direction. Yes, this seems like... Well, actually, no, we're heading up here. We'll use up a lot of water going on a fairly long expedition. But by doing that... We will we'll get the water straight back as it's currently raining. So, confirm. So, same thing again. We just need to set some nice uh, gas masks. Uh, gas masks for everyone. And then we just need to decide what we're taking along uh, to trade with. So, what is... Uh, what's valuable that we don't necessarily need? Uh, let's take along some stuff that stacks pretty nicely. So let's take along some wood, some springs, some metal. Thing is, I don't want to take along all of it because I may need some of it back home while I'm away. So I'm just going to put a little bit of it back in. Okay, yeah, let's take six things out. This is quite a big expedition, so I don't want to take I don't want to take too much. Actually, I'm just going to take five things. We've got a little bit of trading, but mostly we'll be bringing stuff back. As far as we can. Let's... Yeah, let's leave that too. Let's only take four things. Let's go. Yes. You guys. Out you go. Out you go into the wasteland. And child two, you're going to. Sorry, but no one likes you. And off to the wasteland they go. Beautiful. And everyone is asleep. I can speed up time just to get uh, one of them back up again. Everyone's asleep at the moment. Beautiful. Oh, and in the meantime, no one's accepting the transmission. Uh, a small a small farm. Yes, let's take a look in the small farm and see how the expedition is doing. Uh, light sandstorm. How did the water go in the end? We're back. Oh, we're only 8 out of 30 at the moment. Right, hopefully they'll bring some uh, things with them. Uh, accept transmission. Uh, stuff that might be useful. Yes, examine the small farm. So, cement. Boom, that's what we need. We need to be getting cement because we need to expand this place. Shotgun ammo. Ooh. Fuel, very useful. Uh, limestone and sand. We need that to make more cement, so that's incredibly good. Uh, we can take a little bit more of that. And food supplies, pretty much invaluable. So, ammunition for shotgun. Uh, do we want to take coal? No, I feel like we're getting enough fuel, so I don't think we need the coal. But I may as well take this stuff, because I may, I may run into someone I can trade it with later. So I'll just take all that. Yes, confirm. Boom. And as soon as Orange gets up, she can do with a drink, which she will in a second. And Orange is finally flipping up. Yes, you can have a drink. Go on, have a drink of water. Oh, Claire's up too. Oh, wow. Beds work really well. Right, let's deconstruct this. Uh, let's deconstruct this sleeping bag because it's taking up some space. I need some other stuff at the moment. So Claire's... Claire's just taking that uh, sleeping bag down. Yes, accept the transmission. A small house. Yes, you should check it out. Go on, John. You can do this. So we've got some string and some nylon back in the inventory. Lovely. And how's this thing going? That's fine. The radio transmission. Yep. What have you found in the house? Uh, oh, more food. More fuel. Uh, but the fuel doesn't stack any more than that. Uh, loads of sand. Ooh, yes, yeah, sand and uh, yep, some limestone. Good. I think that's actually enough to build an extra room, which is great. Because that means we can actually build a proper bedroom. Bit of extra metal. Now, do we want to leave something because fuel is more useful? Let's leave the pipe and take take some rope. Uh, we want to leave anything else. Let's leave the shotgun and take another stack of fuel. I feel like that's more useful. Yep, yeah, keep going. We're doing well. Now, if we want to see where they are, we can just uh, check the radio transmission. So they are... Oh, they've made it pretty much to the uh, the extreme of where we wanted them to go. And they're presumably heading back uh, pretty soonish now. So that's good. So we can record them anytime we want. Uh, okay, so now, now that we've got that out of the way... Uh, Claire, we need you to be building a proper shower. A tier 2 shower. Yes, we need a shower. This is important. Uh, yes, you get on that. And accept the transmission. We've bumped into someone else on the road. Looks like they've got something to say. Do you want us to handle it? Do you want 
handle it. Yes, get involved. And they have run into... Now, what brings you... So you're... You're standing in the middle of the road. Yes, confirm. But I'm just... We're just in the middle of the road. Just passing, says Child. Child 2 does the talking around here. It's like his Child 2's got more charisma than me or something. Uh, okay. At this point, I would say that you could use someone such as myself on your side. Wouldn't you say? Uh, really? I don't know what you're like. Um... I don't think so. I mean, you've got a baseball bat, but I guess we are about to have an extra room. Yes, we'll recruit you. You're pretty strong, actually. Yeah, why not? Uh, you're alive, safe. I'll make my way there now. Uh, my intelligence has gone way... I wouldn't say my intelligence has gone up yet. Just wait till I may or may not... This person may or may not eat my children. If she hurts a orange, I'm going to be seriously annoyed. Now, shower's being built here. You, Orange, what do you need? You're fine. How much food do we have left? Not a huge amount. What else could we build here? Okay, Orange, I'd say keep making some gas masks. Orange, I would say deconstruct the toilet. We're going to build a proper toilet in a second. Meanwhile, Anne has arrived. Welcome, Anne. I think I would like to think that Claire has probably not been thrilled by just this random woman showing up saying, Hey, don't worry. Hey, John let me in. Don't worry. I'm Anne, by the way, and I don't do anything to help. I just kind of, you know, need to eat and stuff. Anne, how good are you at things? You can craft... You get the honour of crafting our first toilet. To... No, that's that wasn't what I said. I said toilet. Oh, okay, just looks like a shower, because it's it's because it's better, it's got a little thing. Okay, the toilet can be next to the shower. That seems like a sensible thing. Now, uh, what's going on here? No one's got back in touch with us yet. Oh, is this, are they back? Yes, they are back. Beautiful. Now, uh, Claire, one thing you can definitely get on with is crafting us some more gas masks. Get down there, make some gas masks. Open the door. Where's, where's child two? Hurry the hell up, for goodness sake. Right, yes, and open the door. And you're all home. Perception goes up. We get a load of stuff, including loads of fuel. Beautiful. Um, oh, we're going to struggle to fit all of this in, aren't we? Uh, yes, this could... Hopefully this won't cause a problem. Can we fit it all in? Yes, we can fit everything in. What a successful expedition this has been. Yes. And with that and the increase in experience, we've now got loads of food in the pantry. Uh, you, apparently... Uh, yes, John desperately wants a shower. He can have a shower. There he goes, behind the shower. Uh, Child 2 also wants a shower, but screw that guy. Um, he can also have some food. We've got plenty of that now, thanks to your excellent efforts. Well done. Uh, water is... Water's running a bit low, actually. Uh, maybe you shouldn't have had that. Maybe we shouldn't have had the shower. Um, this is going to cause a problem, isn't it? I really hope it rains soon. Because if not, this could be an issue. Right, hang on. What do we need? First things first. We can make some cement. We just need to increase the amount of cement that we've got. You need, uh, you need a shower, but you're not going to get one. So why don't you just sleep? That will be good for you. Uh, you are hungry, that's fine, eat some food. And someone else is, I think, using the bathroom, excellent. Makeshift toilet, you, what else do you need? You need, actually you're fine, you're doing really well. Uh, the girl's doing really well as well. This random woman is claiming that she needs food, but I think she's alright. Alright, I think we are looking pretty good. Claire, keep on making that cement. More cement. That's right. Well done. Claire, you just get on with making the cement. John, John and Anna hanging half of stuff. <laughs> Claire's good. Claire should really mind about this whole situation, shouldn't she? Oh, dear. Uh, yes, we're desperately low on water. Hope it rains soon, because otherwise we're screwed. Okay, and as we get settled into our new home, I think that's probably enough for this part at least. So this is just a quick look at Sheltered. I'll play a little bit more of this. Um, I'll probably kind of play it uh, play it through until I kind of either get into a nice routine or, much more likely, I just end up completely dying because I've not played this game before. So that seems quite likely. Um, so I'll pick this up very soon. I'll probably have another part of this out in a few days. And in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. It's been Many a True Dead, And this has been the rather interesting, I do enjoy stuff like this, Sheltered. Thank you very much and goodbye.
Oh, sh cr what? 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 A bad thing is happening. Why is a bad thing happening? Oi, oi, oi. Is that you? Were you just saying I'm distracted? Because I'm not distracted and I will kick you. I'm going to leave that to Jack. Jack seems to have calmed himself down, or at least is now in a psychotic blood frenzy. So that's fine. 